We're going to talk about some other shit. Um, MMA shit. The World Series of Fighting. George slept on it, son. No, George was gambling. <laughs> George was eating dinner, watching people smoke cigars, because I don't smoke, but the people I was with. Ray Cepho and, or Cepho, huh? And fucking just stack. No. Now, before we get on to the World Series of Fighting, George, tell them what they can win this month. We're oh. giving away an Eton XL Ruckus. This is a Bluetooth-enabled eight-speaker system. It is... And monkeys, just create a video response to whatever video you want and tell us in 15 seconds or less why you would. We're half better than halfway through the month and not any of you, not one person has created a video response. That's fine, because if you guys don't want it, I'll take it. Right. And not only are we giving it away, but the Eton Corporation is giving one away. All you have to do is tweet at Eton Corporation a picture of your best tailgating photo and put hashtag Eton Tailgates. And you get an opportunity to win it over there too. Now, so when you're in the grocery store and you're and there's a girl with a fat tail and she's walking by, just tailgate her down the aisle and take a picture. I tell you what, Send it to uh, Eton one of one of our fathers tailgated their uh, two dogs on the back of a tailgate. Pretty good, That's pretty good photo, doing pretty well. That could be the one that wins it because a lot of people haven't been doing it. Now, Ray Cepho, Cepho, whatever his name is, has the World Series of Fighting. He had his fifth event. Um, which is for the month of September. They were up in what, Jersey? They were up in Jersey. And you know what, man? There was just one thing happening after another. I feel bad for this. It's obviously he signed a deal with NBC Sports, uh, which is, which is, I think is why this thing is staying afloat. I'm going to tell you what. They mm -hmm. got one more event. If, and now mind you, it is 144 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen Monday or Tuesday when you see this, but I wouldn't be surprised if this was their last event or if they have one more event. Yeah, they, you it's know, just, they, they have way too many issues. They've got way too many issues. Um, you know, the first issue they have, which I don't know if you call their fault, but it happened to be the fault of at least maybe the New Jersey Athletic Commission or either the corner of this guy, Elvis, uh, Mutakpik. You know, I could be saying his name wrong and I probably am. And you know what? I just don't give a shit. But, uh, the fight was scratched because they're saying that the fighter was allegedly observed taking an unapproved prescription pill in the locker room ahead of the fight. Now, you know, you have to know what medications they're taking. And they said this woman who who's with the New Jersey State Athletic Commission said she saw the fighter take it. Now, apparently, the fighter and his whole corner are all pretty much the same stature, have the same outfits with hats. And it was like, it was my coach. He has heart medic medication he has to take. Showed him the pills. It had like five or six different pills in this bottle. They didn't give a shit. The woman was adamant that she saw it. They were adamant that he did not take it. But whatever happened, they did not allow the fight to go on. So that was the first big month. Then another Gracie brother decided that he wanted to fight. Or a Gracie cousin or whatever it might be. Some dude with the last name Gracie, Gracie. got knocked out again. Is anyone shocked? Now he got knocked out by Thor. Well, this guy's nickname is Caveman. And, uh, it was, it was one of the, it was the one of the best knockouts I've seen in quite some time. He hit him. Bap, right? And he's, and then the guy rolls Gracie, spins around, and he looks like he's walking away, and then he just does a fucking face plant on the canvas. That Great damn. fucking knockout. If you can see the highlight, go see it. Um, there is a, a middleweight tournament semifinal that happened, and Dave Branch defeated Danielle Willifort, which none of these people you guys probably know. And then the main event was Andre Arlowski versus Mike Kyle. Now, which, I'm going to tell you what, when reading this, you know what thing sticks out the most to me? Mm hmm. I don't know. Andre Arlovsky won a fight that went to the unanimous decision. It really did. I, I, I I'll tell you what. It, I wanted to see how this fight went because Arlovsky is training with Greg Jackson, mm -hmm. and uh, and apparently when I did not know this, when he fought uh, Anthony Rumble Johnson in the first round, he broke his jaw, and he fought two more rounds against Anthony Rumble Johnson, and 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 obviously lost the decision, and immediately had to get his jaw wired. Was out for four, lost thirty five pounds because his jaw was wired. I had no idea that happened. In the last fight, so he, he obviously had no problem putting weight on. Yeah, he Isn't he weight. fighting it heavy? He fought heavyweight and he fought Mike Kyle. And Mike Kyle, who's fighting with American Kickboxing Academy, he, he trains with, you know, Velasquez, Daniel Cormier, looked pretty sharp too. But in the end, Arlowski just picked him apart a little bit. You know, he had, he had Arlowski hurt in the first, in first round. And if he took advantage of that, he probably could have won the fight and put him away, but he didn't jump on him quick enough. And, uh, Andre Arlowski ended up getting the decision. Um, What's next for both of them? Obviously, it's going to be a rematch of Andre versus uh, Anthony Rumble Johnson. I don't know what's next for Mike Kyle because he's been kind of a roller coaster now, ride. Now, with that said, that's if World Series of Fighting has another event. Yes. Now, 